So approximately one third of the food uh, produced for uh, human consumption every year in the world. That is the equivalent of approximately 1.3 billion tons of food gets lost or wasted. Um, approximately or more than 15 million tons of uh, food coming from textile industry is um, produced in the world every year. And it is a, um, assumed that approximately 15% of the clothing, of the fabric that is meant for clothing uh, ends up directly on the cutting floor. Um, not to mention the fact that the mining and the cutting, uh, gem cutting industries are some of the most unhealthiest and uh, polluting industries in the world. Um, bearing these premises in mind, I try to reconsider the notion of value and preciousness in uh, fashion and jewelry. Um, I create wearable art objects um, that are um, meant to encompass a fusion of innovative uh, technique and uh, traditional techniques. I make use of um, new materials that respond at the same time to real environmental issues. Um, so I, uh, I, use, I work with new materials that are made entirely out of waste coming from food and textile industry. Uh, for the old alchemists, um, yeah, they were uh, the old alchemists were searching for a method of the transforming of common metals to the most precious ones at the time, and that was gold. Uh, and it was assumed that the resulting gold had uh, even higher meaning due to the due to the transforming and purifying process. Aurum nostrum is not aurum vulgi. Uh, our gold is not uh, common gold. And my gold is not common gold, um, as um, I, I seek for beauty and meaning and value into something that is uh, primarily a residual and repulsive, that is waste. Um, uh, the, um, the, the only propulsive uh, force of this uh, uh, dissolution and coagulation process uh, is actually uh, one of the uh, the only um, one of the last um, uh, cre uh, attributes that we still are uh, left untouched from the artificial intelligence that is our own creativity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.